Here's how to fix this app is not available in your country or region on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you pop up with a message, when you go to try to download and install an app, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps to get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now let's open up here and it might look something like this. It says, when you go to download and install something, it says app not available. This app is currently not available in your country or region. There are a number of different steps to get that fixed. The very first one is to check a VPN. So let's tap on settings here and we'll scroll down and we're gonna choose general at the very top of here. And then we'll just scroll down to the very bottom. You can see at the very bottom is VPN and device management. So tap on that. Now, if you're currently connected to a VPN, let's say I'm in the United States, but I have a VPN to France or the United Kingdom or India or something like that, it will essentially say, hey, maybe that app is not available in wherever my VPN is connected. So if you do have one, just tap on it and turn off that VPN or delete the configuration if you're not necessarily using it. The next thing that we will do is go back here and you can see if I scroll up a little bit is date and time. So I'm gonna tap on date and time. And on here, you wanna make sure this is set automatically. So the time zone here is New York because I'm on the East Coast of the United States. If that is turned off and for instance, you have the time zone set to Tokyo or something like that. You just wanna make sure that is turned on so that it sets to the time zone and area that you are currently in. Essentially, this will recognize that I'm on the East Coast of the United States. The next thing we will do is go back here and you can see midway down is language and region. So just tap on where it says language and region, and we will choose region here. Now, of course, update this to the correct country that you're currently in. So if you're in a different country or you moved or you're traveling, just update this to the correct country. You can say, for instance, instead of the United States, United Kingdom or something like that. Now let's hop out of here. And after we've done all of those steps, the last thing we'll do is in the app store. So head into the app store here. Let me hit done. And we're gonna tap on your profile at the very top, right? And now from here, we need to change the country or region. So we're gonna tap on your name at the very top. And then from here, you can see it'll use my face ID and midway down is country or region. I'm gonna tap on that. And essentially I'm currently in the United States. It shows that I can't cancel it or change it because I have an Apple One subscription. If you have any in-app subscriptions, you need to cancel them first, but then you can update the country or region to match wherever you are. Now, keep in mind, there is a caveat to this. Let's say you change it from the United States to the United Kingdom then essentially what it will ask you for is billing details associated with your new address in the United Kingdom. So you need an address and you need a debit card or credit card to link up to your app store to be able to buy anything or in-app purchase that's issued and has a billing address in that new country that you're trying to basically download and buy apps for. So if you move to the United Kingdom or something like that, just make sure you use a credit card or debit card that's issued and usable in that specific new country. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.